Hi, my name is Christoph Schwartz. I'm working at Click, and I would like today show you how you would produce accumulated char chart in Click Sense. That could be a bar chart. That could be a line chart. First, I'm going to show you what I want. Um, let's assume I have a bar chart like this, and I want now to all the values to accumulate to its previous value, so that you get this sort of chart at the end. How would you do that? I'm going to show you the easy way of doing it if you have prepared a little trick that I'm going to explain after this. So final for a user it would be like this. You click on the measure and the dimension that you like. Um, let's change the sort order for a moment and I need to break the link to the master item because I need to add two tags, a special click tag. It's called dollar brackets acum, and here it's called dollar brackets slash acum, and it's accumulating. But it does it only if you first went into the load script and place these two lines of code. It contains a formula, it wraps actually your expression into two parts of a formula. So stay on this video for two more minutes if you want to understand these two formulas, otherwise just use this code snippet and be fine. So why is it working like this? Let's start again and I'm explaining it to you in a, in a table. Again, I'm taking my dimension and I'm adding my measure. And now I'm using a copy of this column, breaking again the link to the master items and try this above. You can see now that it always refers to the value that originally was in the cell before. So it's like in Excel when you refer to the previous line. Very simple. So the next thing you can do is add two more arguments. You can put an offset here. For example, above two goes two cells up. What I will actually do is uh, above zero, uh, which it's sort of meaningless in this without a third parameter because it's now staying in the same row. No offset. But now I want to get as many rows back as I'm going down. So put a row number here. What is row number? Yeah, I'm going crazy now. Uh, row number is another function that just gives a sequential number of rows until the bottom. So it starts with 1 going down to 10. Yes, and now I've received here in my row before um, several cells, not only one, but above without another aggregation function. I need a range sum to do something with the, the vector of values that I've received. Range sum now finally will total up all the values. So this cell frankly says build a total from everything from here to the top or the last nine cells, the last eight cells, and so on and so on. So ultimately, this drives just an accumulation of the strikes column originally. And you will see now that I've done nothing else but just wrapping the first part before your function and the last part after your function into two um, variables, which I called acum and slash acum. So to be short, just use these two tags. If you want to be a, a technical wizard, use the function itself. Either way you achieve it. So thank you for watching. That's the end of today's tutorial.